Hi guys, today I'm gonna, oh my god, you can really hear the difference in my voice. I've got a cold, so my voice is really low. I really like it, I feel like I sound like Beyonce. I'm the closest thing to Beyonce that I've ever been in my whole life right now, so I'm really ecstatic about that. Mm. So today I'm gonna do my October favourites. I was gonna say August, which I keep saying and thinking in my head, I don't know why we're not in August, it's October. It's been October, so I need to get with the programme. But enough of me chatting, let's get straight to it. So the first, the first, first, thirsty the first things i'm going to talk about are some lashes i'm going to talk about the cocoa lashes in the style soho and then the socialized lashes in the style glamorous so this is glamorous and this is soho they are like some amazing lashes they're like really wispy really dramatic exactly the kind of lashes i like and i need in my life i'm talking about lips i'm going to talk about this kiko precision lip pencil this is in the shade 300 i've been wearing it almost every day just because with my eyes i've been doing quite a lot so with the lips i want to keep it like you know so what i'll do is just use a lovely like brown liner around the rim just watching it for you guys and then i'll actually put this on top or on the middle so it's basically just a nice pinky brown shade, a good everyday nude. It's good if you're a darker skin girl like me, because like I said, you can line your outer rim with a brown liner and then just put that inside and then bam, you've got your nude lip. I've actually got that on today and I've got MAC Viva Glam 2 on top just because the um, this one is quite warm and quite brown and then Viva Glam 2 is quite cool and gives me like those grey purple, purple tones. So I just put it on top for just a little bit of a, for a, a melange. Moving on to brushes, this is the Sigma E35, E25, I'll add. Look at that brush, absolutely in love with this brush. Um, I've been doing a lot of like looks like I'm done today, like blow out a colour in the crease, then um, put just a colour on the lid, like a colour all over, like just like really doing like really neutral, like smoky, nice intense eyes, you know what I mean? So this is a brush that's really great for getting like into corners, I've been practicing some cut creases as well to do on my channel and like looks with like liner and stuff, so this has really helped me out. Guys, if you want to do like precise 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 detail work and you really want to get into that crease i would recommend a sigma e25 this is like my holy girl brush for the brush for the crease and i have two of these that's just how much i love them moving on to the morphe e27 this as well has been my holy holy girl brush because like i said i've been doing a lot of looks where i'm blowing out like a brown or purple or something really nice and like deep in the crease and then um, in my outer crease and then i'll basically use this I go between this and my Sigma E40 which is like best brush of life but this is really good for just like really blowing it out really reaching it towards your brows but not like distributing too much powder and too much color so it's a great brush I would recommend this and I know a Morphe is probably like seven or eight dollars it's not even expensive at all and I remember I did see a post on the Instagram they responded to someone's comment about the Elite collection and they said this is coming back so hold tight ladies and gents or if you're a lady and a gent at the same time so this is the crown brush, uh, C4, C475 silicone angled liner. This brush is really good if you're starting out with liner. I'm not too, I've never been too keen on liner, but I figured like I wanna, you know, incorporate a few more looks with like liquid liners, do a few more looks with liquid liner, you know, try some different things, and this has really been helping me. So if you are someone who, you know, you wanna kind of dip into the um, liquid liner or gel liner kind of arena but you don't know you know how to get started this is a really good starter brush because it's flexible enough to where it's going to give you that give and you're really going to be able to move and just manipulate the look of the liner so that you can really get in all the corners and really work with your eyes so this is the sigma crown brush c475 silicone angle liner get this and i think it was like three pounds so get it Ooh, two products from H&M actually lucky them i actually hate the rest of the line but i like like four things this is going to be an honorary mention because like technically it's a cheat because I use it twice and I used it today and I used it yesterday. It's the cover up concealer. Guys, this is so good. It's like £6.99. It's banging. It's so comparable to the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's basically the same thing. Although that one is pigmented and you don't have to build up as much product. Whereas this I find I do my triangle under my eye or whatever 
and then I'll do it but it looks kind of shit and then I have to do it again. I wish they'd really like boost their shade selection because even though this is good for me for highlighting I'd like it like a smidge lighter because after I use this I always have to go in with powder like my powder is what gives it like the yellow glow the yellow tint so I do have to put in a, bit, a lot of that powder which I don't really want to do because I don't want that cakey look I don't want cake. But this is a really good concealer. If you're on the market for a new concealer, you want something cheap, cheerful, something that you just want to try out, this is the H&M cover-up concealer and it will change your life. Another H&M product, this is the Mattifying Face Primer. I've got this on my face as well. This primer is so good, guys. H&M is a clothing retailer that like, I would not expect them to have like release a banging primer like this. It's so good at oil control. It's just good at like drying up your face. I'm not like incredibly oil oily. I am oily. But if you are incredibly oily, this is gonna be your lifesaver. As you put it on, you literally see it. It gives you like a white cast, but obviously you're gonna put your foundation on after anyway, so it doesn't matter. Basically, you can literally see it just drying up on your face, and you can literally feel it and feel how it just dried up, soaked up all the moisture. It's not to dry out your skin which is really good it's just going to soak up all the oil and allow you to put your foundation on and have your foundation last throughout the day without getting super incredibly oily i would say that you have to work fast with this and if you're going to use a beauty blender to apply your makeup ensure that your beauty blender is very wet not very wet but moist enough because like i said this is going to dry up all the moisture and if you have a dry beauty blender and you're trying to apply your foundation it's just not going to work it ain't going to be popping another thing from h&m this is the precision sponge life 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 this is a new one i didn't clean this i didn't get good at that like ugh, i wish they weren't white because they get so dirty and like, obviously my concealers and my foundation and everything as brown as you can get so it's really hard to keep this clean the one that i've got is not that bad i cleaned it the other day but it's just quite hard to keep them clean but um, other than this it's such a good sponge such a good sponge it's like bouncy enough look at that it's so bouncy I, if I compare this to the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge, I would say that one is a lot less bouncy. Although it does, you know, do an amazing job. I used it today. Although it does do an amazing job, it's not as bouncy. If you are a fan of beauty blenders, which are really soft, like, you give you a lot of give, this is the one. And guys, it's £1.99, like, so good. I was really reluctant to... I was actually really excited to use any of the H&M Beauty stuff. Once I got it and did, like, a trial and did, like, a thing of it, I was just like, ugh. So I was really reluctant to like try and incorporate any of the products into my routine, but the three that I've just mentioned, like, amazing. If you're going to invest in free products from them, I'll take this, and they actually have um, some really good eyeshadows, so do that as well. Uh, this is the Inglot number 77 gel liner. This has been just my best friend. Like I said, I've been doing a lot more looks with liners. This, along with that crown brush, has just really helped me to get the wing I need, you know? The wing I need in my life. In my life, okay? It's really just changed the game up, guys. Like, I have nothing more to say with this. This, yeah, this is amazing. If you are a beginner, it's gonna help you out because it's a really nice, thick consistency. It looks like a black hole. It really, like, makes me itch. I hate, like, that kind of stuff. It just looks like a black hole. Like, before I used it, my sister was using it all the time. Then I was like, hey, give me back my liner. And then she left for uni and she left it here. I'm just like, damn right you left it here. Moving on to some foundations. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundations. Life changer. Life changer. Game changer. Everything. Change up your life. MVP. Okay? These foundations are so good. They're so affordable. For the price that you pay for these foundations, like just on another level on another level like i said if i've mentioned in previous videos i'm in the shade 112 and 111 mixed together 112 is quite orange 111 is quite yellow so mix them together it gives my perfect undertone one of the battles we have as oily girls is wanting that dew wanting that glow this is going to be matte to the point it's like a nice satin matte but it's going to be matte to the point where you're not really going to get that glow unless you go in and like manipulate the appearance of it with other products like your fix plus or whatever with actually another product that i'm going to mention after so stay tuned but if you do want your skin to be like matte and you don't want any oil this is perfect but i like matte with like a tiny bit of oil a tiny bit of luminosity but this is an amazing prime, uh, foundation. I'm going to New York in May of next year and literally I'm going to go to every drugstore in the Dime Tri-State area and I'm going to buy every single one of these. I bought them on eBay. If you're in the UK and you're looking to get them, I bought them on eBay. But I did see that they had an advert for um, 
this on TV maybe two days ago and um, it was weird that they were advertising it so late but they kind of did like all swatches of it and they had like a dark shade I'm guessing that was the one one too so I think in the UK now that they have the darker shades they didn't before they only had like the really light ones which was so annoying but I believe now they have it I need to double check but you guys can have a look in Boost because I know they have it and maybe Superdrug as well so this is the product I was talking about when I was talking about you know manipulating the appearance of foundation this is a pixie by Petra Glow Mist and this is basically oils let me show you this is basically just oil it has propolis and argan oil in it it's basically really good oils that you're supposed to put on either before you put in your makeup or after your makeup is done this I like spray so much of it when I have on the L'Oreal foundations I've put a bit of it on today so that's what you know it's giving me this glow this light this everything brown chocolate brown. this is just a really good overall product I believe it was you know what I bought three products today that I bought this so I don't remember the price but I will put the link in the description box below so you guys can check it out and have a look at the price um, but this is just really good oil if you perhaps don't want to spend £17 on Max Fix Plus you could probably get this. I don't know if it's cheaper than Matrix Plus. So I might be jumping the gun with this one. But like I said, check below. But this is a good substitute if you don't want to use MAC products, you know, if you want something different. And Pixie by Petra is a brand which is just popping at the moment. I do have the Glow Tonic. I've yet to see anything that's really, like, amazing, amazing. But it might make it to next month's favourite. I don't know. I might change up some other stuff, you know, to allow it to work better. To see if that's what's really, you know, helping or, you know making my skin deteriorate but overall we'll try out the line I do have an eyeshadow from them which is really nice really creamy and um, the brand is just really cool and really fun I mean if you are looking for a new brand and you want to buy products from Pixie by Petra moving on to a powder this is my Laura Mercier oh I do it like everything I do like stems from Edie's Bailey like I love her I just I have no words like I have on snapchat, I have on instagram, I have on youtube, I love her and when she says Laura Messier I just she calls it her crack, this is crack guys, this is crack this powder is so good I use it basically underneath to set my concealer straight away it's like I've showed you guys in my other video, it's a military operation you put the concealer, bam, don't let it rest, blend it out put this on, bam, straight away this is such a good powder. I I just didn't get it at first, but that was because my eyes are looking super creasy. They have like, you know, fixed up in the past few days, maybe because I've been getting a little bit more sleep. But guys, this powder is just really good. It really does feel lightweight. You don't feel like you've got anything on your face. Look how much there is in it. Like, I've used so much of it and there's still so much of this powder in it. I would just recommend this. It's £29, but if you invest in this, you will not have to buy like another powder for I don't know how long. So I think if you don't necessarily want to spend a lot of money on a powder then my advice is just to bite the bullet spend 30 pound on it in comparison to maybe getting a powder which is maybe 20 pound and then refilling it every six months this is 29 pound and you maybe have to refill it like every 10 months so go and get this guys Laura Mercier translucent powder I said Laura mm. and moving on to some skincare items this is the Ayurveda scrub I don't know if I pronounced it right I'm so sorry but this is the Indian Rose and Multani Clay Purifying Body Scrub you can actually use this on your face and your whole entire body this scrub will change your life okay everything changes my life all the time but this scrub is so good guys like you can literally feel it on like working in your face which is what I like because I like to feel like the scrub is working to just clean everything on my face and get my you know get my skin looking right got this in a uh, birch box I did cancel my birch box unfortunately so I won't be doing like birch box unboxing videos or anything like that but I did get this in there I don't know if this is like a travel size or full size version but it's a really decent size version but I will definitely look this up and get it I have the Origins uh, charcoal clay mask and I love that as well but I'm going to continue to buy both because I love masks and I have love having like a variety because I feel like in a way even though they're all purifying or charcoal or whatever like I feel like there's a difference I don't know I think it's the hoarder in me it's the makeup geek in me who just wants to buy stuff there is a difference okay I'm telling you last but not least this is the Neutrogena visibly clear pour and shine daily scrub I have been using Neutrogena products you know, I was going to say since I was born, let me chill. Uh, since I was maybe 16, 17, 18, like, I never had bad skin, but I had your basic, like, I had your typical teenage acne. And all of the Neutrogena products just absolutely just gave my skin a new lease of life. They really cleared up my skin and really helped me, like, get, you know, the skin that I have today. So I, I absolutely love the Neutrogena stuff. If you have, like, mild acne, then I would recommend it. It, it feels, like, so 
gentle on the skin. It's really affordable. It goes for three or four pounds in your boots or your super drug. So if you needed maybe five or six, you know, products on the line that you could just get at one time, you'd maybe spend like 20 pounds. So that's not that bad to get like a full skincare routine. But this is the Pour and Shine Daily Scrub, and this is amazing. I decided to get this on a whim because I like changing up my face scrubs because you know if you don't change up your face scrubs, then your skin kind of gets used to it and then nothing happens. So I like to change it up. I use three different Neutrogena face scrubs. I use the gentle daily exfoliating one and I use the one that comes with the pump the orange one is like a, 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 a orange like fairy liquid type consistency thing like just oh, gel <laughs> Oh my god, why can't, I, why can't I just describe it? I've been using it for like how long now and I don't even know. But this one is a pore shine. I think the first day I used it, I felt the difference a lot more than now. Like I said, I think my skin was getting used to it, so I alternate between the three. But the first day I used it, you can absolutely just feel it mattifying your face. I'm not sure about pores because I know in my pores I've been doing a little extra these days, like just showing up for what. As soon as, as soon as you use this, you can just feel your skin like not drying up, but it kind of just cleans it and your skin feels tight as soon as you're done using it. So if you are in the market for a new face scrub, you want something to kind of dry up your oils, help with your pores, you know, scrub as well, be, act as an exfoliator, then I would definitely recommend this. I don't believe that anything in the Neutrogena line is over £5 as well. And they, at Boots, they always have two for £5, so that's when I stock up on them, which I would recommend for you guys to do. So that was it guys, that was my October favourite. I feel like I have so much more, but I feel like it's stuff that I use like two or three times. I'm like, mm, I don't know if it cuts it and makes it to a favourite, so I don't know about that. We're going to have to chill, put that on pause for a minute, okay? But I really genuinely hope you guys are having a lovely day. I'm having a lovely day as well, don't be fooled by the voice. I'm really happy it's so sunny and bright outside. And I've done a nice, you know, purpley smoky look today for work. I'm going to work. And I want you guys to let me know what's in your favourites. I want to find out what you guys have been loving. Like I always say my favourites, if there's something that you've used that I, you know, have and it hasn't been working out for you, maybe think about the way I use it and try, you know, doing it the same thing. It might work for you because sometimes I buy a lot of products that I recommended on like YouTube or Instagram and I, they get to me and I'm just like, ugh. Like the Lara Mercier powder, I just said it again, I didn't even realise. I am Latino at heart, okay? The Lara Mercier powder. I didn't like it at first, I was just like, oh, but then I watched the way other people were doing it and then I really began to like it. So, ramble over, I genuinely hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, and lovely to speak to you guys. Bye, lovely to speaking to you. Lovely to speaking to you. Oh, my highlight is really popping in this light, yes. Hey, baby, it's your girl Beyonce. How good is my impression? Oh, hey, baby, it's your girl Beyonce.